Hi strangers, would you like to find out how to do your makeup like this today? Well if you do then please keep watching. <laughs> Monday I've just put my foundation on I am using this one again today which is the one I use every day which is revolution conceal and define f1 and then we are going to be playing with the new palette that I got recently so yes isn't this such a pretty palette so this is a VE cosmetics and this is that beautiful new palette that they sent out to me. I absolutely love this palette and I think it looks beautiful. I am so excited to try out the colours in here today. So I wonder what we're going to get up to with this today. So let's check out the colours in here so we can, we can have a little look to see what kind of colour combinations we can do in here. I'm really loving the greens. I've just recently had a green look and a purple look, so I am thinking these purples today. I don't know why. I think we're just going to go for these. We got this really nice, like, dark purple and this really light purple, and then we have some glitters as well to play with. So we're going to start with playing with this section of the makeup palette. So we have a black, a glittery pink, a glittery purple, a purple, and like a navy purple dark dark purple so yes we're going to play with this side of the palette i love this stuff so i'll probably be using this as well in the middle it's a really beautiful shimmer and it changes in between like a green and purple so it's like really pretty so it'll match each side of the palette as well so we're going to start with a nice dark dark, dark base so i'm going to start with a nice clean new brush to try this out as well let's try out this palette i'm going to start off with this really dark purple and we'll see what kind of color that is it is very much like a navy so i'm a little scared but let's give this a go and i'm just going to pop this on across here that's quite dark isn't it but i'm hoping it will blend out to a nice purple here So I'm just using the brush and I'm sweeping it across now trying to blend the colour out a little bit. I'm not doing any on my lid of us now because it's a very dark colour and I want to leave it quite light on my lid so I'm just going to come up as high as I'd like on here. I'm going to do the same on the other eye as well. It does look very dark. I don't like using dark colours normally because obviously being older it can make your face look older wearing lots and lots of dark colours up high on your face but we're going to give this a go. I haven't worn this colour ever before I don't think and I'm just going to keep blending this out until it's not so harsh so just keep going. And I'm just going to drag this out at the edges here just to give it like a wing shape here. I'm trying to make this all even as much as I can. I've got this weird crease that comes down my eye here which can be annoying to try and like even out. I'm going to try and sort that out a little bit. Okay, so we have this beautiful dark purple and I'm going to use the lighter purple across my lid I think. It's quite glittery, let me check it out. So I'm just going to bulk up this shiny, shiny um, purple now and put that across my lid. Hopefully it's not going to be too dark. And I'm just going to bring that right up to the corner here. And I'm just going to blend it up with the other colour. 
looks so messy but in real in the real light it looks really well blended okay i'm going to do the same to the other side as well so i'm just going to bring that right up into this corner because i want that lighter and just bring it across my lid here okay with the same brush i'm now going to go in with the pink glitter which is this one right here and i'm just going to pick some of this up with the other colors as well so it's going to be a nice mix i hope and i'm going to bring that underneath my eye just so we've got a different color going on here so just underneath this part here just to blend this all together and to give it a bit of shine at the bottom okay I don't know how how shiny that looks to you guys but it's quite shiny okay now we've done all the colour bits, I am going to do the rest of my eyeliner and then we're going to add some of this really beautiful like white colour as well to this. So I'm going to do my normal bits now, I'm going to do my eyebrows and my eyeliner and do some concealing under my eyes because I am so tired again today. It was a late night last night, we had a live and it was really fun, everyone was there. So yeah, it was just a really good time last night. Now I'm going to use my soft eyeliner, I'm going to do my waterline at the bottom and in the top and just go across the lid as well. Okay, before we go on anymore, I'm just going to come in here and I just want to try out using this colour and I'm going to put that right in the middle of my lid there. So I'm going to close my eyes, as you can see it's a very light colour, I'm just going to put some of that right in the centre and hopefully that will just brighten up that bit there when I close my eyes, it should show up a little bit. Okay, now my wings, I'm going to go in with my black eyeliner. This is the one I use every time I do my makeup. I love it. I order these all the time. So I'm going to just put my wings on now. So I'm just going to come down from where I want it to happen, down to the corner of my eye, and then bring it back like so. 
then I like to tilt my head back and then come around and colour that bit in there. Now let's do some cleaning up. I'm going to use some concealer and I'm just going to put some underneath my eyes here, on the tip of my nose, in the middle of my forehead before I start drawing everywhere and get myself all like, I get mixed up sometimes. So. going to shape our face a little bit I'm going to use my radiance brick here I use that for when I'm doing my um, shaping of my face just because it's I don't really like using dark colors too badly so I'm just going to use that across down here under my chin Around the outside of my face. Down my nose here because my nose is huge. Put some lipstick on and then we'll see where we're going to go from there. So I use Matte Me Up Barry M for my lipstick. I use it every day so it's perfect. My lips don't crack and things like that. So it's just the thing, my go-to everyday thing. Okay, now I'm going to use this really pretty white sparkly one in the middle and I'm going to use my finger for that and I'm going to put a little bit on my nose for a little bit of highlight and I'm going to use a little bit across underneath this purple section here under my eye just to really lighten that area up too. And I think I'm going to use some in the corners. So I'm just going to put some on my finger and just get it right in this corner here. Because I'm really wanting this like really magic y look of my makeup today. I don't know if that's a word, but I'm making words up now. I really love the way this shines so many different colours as well. Almost, almost makes it look like it's wet. So, okay. I'm just going to put a little tiny, tiny bit as well across this section of my eyebrow. Just what's left on my finger. And I really wanted to try this purple on the lipstick to see how this works. So I'm picking up the glittery purple as well now. And I'm just running that over the black lipstick to see what that looks like and how that feels. I'm going to put the white on the top. Okay, now I'm going to concentrate on the corners of my eyes and I want this to look really witchy today. So I'm thinking about putting little stars everywhere. 
So first of all, I'm going to start with the corners of my eyes and um, I need some big old corners going on here. So let's do that first. As you see, I've done a little split in my eyebrow, so I'm just going to fix that up really quickly because you can see a little tiny bit of black in my skin there. So I'm just going to put a blob of this and just blend out with my finger if I can. Now it's time for some magical stars. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to do a line, do a cross. I'm just doing like a little star effect going on, a little one under here. And of course I need something in this gap up here, so I'm going to do that up there as well. Some mascara. And I'm going to do a few dots as well around the face, just to make it a bit more magical. So I'm going to Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair and put my lashes on and I'll be back to show you the finished effect. See you in a minute. Okay, so here's today's finished makeup look. I am really impressed. I actually really love all these really beautiful colors all together. And I love the way it makes it all shimmery and I love my lips. The color over the black really makes it look magical and really pretty so this palette is absolutely stunning and I just feel really pretty which is weird it's weird but it's amazing and I love it so yeah this palette is really really good so please if you are interested in getting it as well I'm trying out this makeup look then you can I have got a discount code below so if you guys are wanting to get hold of this makeup palette, you can. I do have a discount code, 
which is down below in my description where you can find out where you can get the discount and if you go through my code it also helps me out as well I get 5% off the sale price so that's really amazing so you'd be helping me out this beautiful vegan makeup small business as well so yes getting this would be really great and and the makeup it's all about the makeup stunning so I hope you guys all enjoyed my makeup video it has been fun I hope you guys have a lovely Monday and I will see you next time and please don't forget be weird be yourself and to be different because otherwise i'm sorry to tell you this but you're just boring and i'll see you later goodbye 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 <laughs>